So here is the Higgsfield AI tutorial for beginners. So first up, you need to head over to Higgsfield.ai. And as you can see, I'm already here on the website. If you go over to the top right, you will get to see the pricing option. Let's click on it to check it out. On this page, you will get to see all the plans that they have available and offer, along with the features that each of them have. So check them out and choose whichever one that you like. You can also set between monthly and annual. If you select the annual plans, you'll be able to save 40%. Now, let's go back to the previous page. From here, click on login or sign up on the top right corner. After that, you can choose between these options to sign up. I will go with continue with Google. Then just set it up and you'll be logged in to your profile. On the top right corner, if you click on profile, you'll be able to view your available credits. And on the main screen here, you will find different sections that you can check out. For example, Hicksfield Soul, Apps, Kling 2.1 Master, Camera Controls, Viral, Action Movements, UGC, Commercial, etc. So go through these sections, you can check out a lot of styles of content that you can create using Hicksfield AI. This way, go through each of these options to check them out. You can also click on generate on each one of them if you want to copy the style. So this way, explore the page further. Once done, let's head back to the top and check out the options on the top panel. Let's select image and then click on create image. So on this section, you can type in your prompt on the bottom text bar. You can also click on the plus icon to add your own reference images from your PC or device. After that, just select the image and click open and it will be uploaded onto Higgsfield AI. Once done, you can just put in your prompt and set the options on the bottom. And as you can see, you can choose from any of these models to use. After that, you have this photo dump studios option. Then you can set the aspect ratio for the image that you want to generate. You can also set the quality from here. You can set the batch size as well. Once it's set up, just click on generate. Then Higgsfield will generate your image. And since we're using the free version, it's on queue. In order to get fast generations, it's advised to upgrade your plan to get better performance. But at first, just to try it out, you can use it like this, but it will take a lot more time than what you would get using an upgraded plan. And as you can see, it's still in progress. It shows here that if you upgrade it, you will get 10x faster generations. But then again, it's only useful if you're using Higgsfield AI a lot to generate images. Otherwise, the free version is just fine for testing. And as you can see, our image has been generated and it perfectly resembles the reference style. You can click on the edit or animate option to use these features. Now, just click on this icon to publish it. After that, let's select Soul as the model and try out a different kind of image. So here, I'll type in a random prompt just as an example. Soul is the hyper-realistic AI-powered image and video generation model designed for creating high-end, fashion-grade visuals. It is a tool for creators that produces editorial quality content with realistic details like fabric textures and skin pores and has specific features like Soul ID which allows users to create a consistent, personalized digital avatar from their own photos. So over here, as an example, I will use the prompt, create an action scene of a cast taking a photo where an explosion occurs in the background. Then just click on generate and the image will start being generated right away. But as we've seen before, it takes quite a while in the free version. So the image is now ready. Just go ahead and click on the image to check it out. From here, you can edit the image further by typing in instructions on the bottom. So over here, you can use the instruct option or edit prompt. I will use the instruct option and instruct it to use only a single person in the shot. You can also change additional settings like aspect ratio, quality, and batch size. But for this, we will need to upgrade the plan. Now, let's click on generate. 
And as you can see, the new edit is now in queue. Once it gets to in progress, it will start being generated. And as you can see, our image is now ready. Just click on it to open it up. It has complied with our instruction. Now, let's click on Edit Prompt. Here, you can edit your original prompt. You can also select Video, Edit, and all of these options that you can use to work with the photo. Now, let's go back and on the Animate section, you can use Video, Speak, UGC, or Draw to Video. You can also create a board to save it or save it to an existing board. On this page, just put in a name for your new board and click on Create. But as you can see, it only works with the paid plans. For now, let's cancel this. Then, let's go ahead and click on the video option on the top here and select Create Video. Here, you will notice a different interface. Then, we have the Edit option on the top. From here, you will see all the available tools. Next up, we have Character, which you can use to create different kinds of characters. Here, you can upload your own photo and then a target image. So let's upload my own photo right here. After that, you can set the model from the bottom. Go through these options to select the one that you want. Then, select the target image option and select your desired image. As you can see, it's now added. After that, just click on Generate. Now, it will start being generated. As you can see, it's now in queue. Once it gets to in progress, it will be done in no time. How long it takes may also depend on the type of content that you're trying to create. So as you can see, it's now done. And it has replaced the face with the image of the person that we've used. And it looks pretty accurate. You can select video or speak from the bottom or any of these other options. You can also animate this as well. Let's select video for this one. And as you can see, we're now in the video dashboard. On the left panel, just put in your prompt. For example, explosion in the background. And then let's click on generate. But as you can see, we will need to upgrade the plan. But that's how you can use the video options. Now, if we head over to Sora 2 Trends, you'll be able to view all the use cases available on the left and check out different kinds of contents. Then, if you go over to Popcorn, you'll be able to create visual stories with Hicksfield Popcorn. You can choose between Auto or Manual. And also, there's InstaDump. You can scroll through and choose from any of these packs available. You can also click on Create Pack to create your own. For now, let's cancel it and check out the Assist option. Here, you can ask Hicksfield Assist to assist you or guide you through any process with the platform. But this too requires a paid plan. Then we have Apps. Explore the page to check it out. Then there's Community. Here, you will get to see a lot of content created on Hicksfield by its community members. And that's it. That is the Hicksfield AI tutorial for beginners.